So you want to know the difference between a duvet and a comforter. Which one's more expensive? Which one's easier to clean? Well, you're in luck, because today we're going to settle that debate once and for all. But before we do, special thanks to Casper for sponsoring this video and providing us with this amazing duvet. All right, let's get started. All right, I want to start by saying that if you have trouble telling the difference between a duvet and a comforter, I promise you you're not alone, because they actually have some very important things in common. They're both super plush quilts that are usually filled with down, feathers, or synthetic fiber. In the case of the Casper duvet, it's filled with ethically sourced down. And both comforters and duvets usually feature a sewn-in pattern designed to keep the fill evenly distributed throughout the quilt. And there are some subtle differences that you might notice. With duvets, they usually feature more fill power, which means they're usually fluffier, have a little bit more of a poofy look, whereas comforters have a little bit less fill power, typically, which means they're a little less fluffy, but they're also generally larger, which means they offer a little bit more hangover on the bed. But the main difference between a comforter and a duvet is that a comforter is one piece of bedding that's ready to go right out of the bag. But a duvet is designed to go inside a duvet cover. All right, so now that we know the main difference between these two bedding essentials, let's dive deeper into the details so that you can decide which might be the best fit for you, starting with the comforter. Now, something I love about the comforter is its simplicity. Like I said, it's one piece of bedding that's ready to go right out of the packaging. And while the one I have here is white, more often than not, comforters do come in different colors, pretty designs, so even without a decorative cover, uh, they're still decorative in their own right. Additionally, comforters are great for sleepers who like a layered look to their bed. So because they do tend to be a little less fluffy, they look great over a top sheet and under an additional blanket as well. Another thing that's great about the comforter is they often come as a part of a matching bedding set known as bedding in a bag ensembles. So folks who don't love to spend a lot of time sort of picking out the perfect color coordinating pillowcases and sheets, comforters might be a good way to knock that all out in one purchase as they do often come with complete matching sets. Now, in my mind, the main downfall of the comforter is that it's tougher to clean. Obviously, it doesn't have that protective outer layer that the duvet cover provides the duvet, and obviously, it's much bigger than a duvet cover is, so you are gonna have to wash your comforter once a month and spot clean as necessary. If you do wanna know more about the exact wash care instructions, how to take care of your comforter, I do dive into deeper detail about that in my full written review, which is linked below. Now duvets, on the other hand, to me, one of the best things about them is it's super easy to switch up the style. Because the duvet cover is removable, anytime you wanna sort of spruce up the look and feel of your bedroom, all you have to do is get a new duvet cover. You don't have to sink money into a whole other brand new comforter or a brand new duvet or a brand new piece of bedding. You know, and if you wanted to, because duvet covers are of course less expensive than the duvet itself, Nothing stopping you from having like seven different duvet covers that you sort of switch out whenever you want to, you know, change up the look of your bedroom. Now, additionally, a lot of folks who sleep with a duvet choose to take their top sheet out of the mix completely, also known as sleeping European style. Now, of course, the removal of that one piece of bedding actually makes the bed making process a lot easier because instead of putting the top sheet on and then your duvet or comforter, you're just throwing your duvet on top of your mattress and calling it a night. Now, like I said, having the removable duvet cover just makes the duvet easier to wash. So you've got this protective outer layer that's keeping your duvet insert inside, nice and clean, protected from all the outside elements. And then when you want to wash your duvet cover, which you only need to do about once a month, just remove it and throw it in the washing machine with the rest of your bedding. Really simple. So what's not to love about a duvet? Well, getting the duvet insert inside of the duvet cover be a little bit challenging and it's certainly not as easy as just throwing one comforter on top of your mattress. Now with Casper's duvet and duvet cover we're in luck because first of all the duvet itself does have the sewn in quilted pattern that's keeping the fill evenly distributed within the duvet but that's not always the case. Sometimes duvets 
don't have any of that sewn in quilt and so the fill doesn't necessarily distribute evenly within the duvet. Additionally, Casper's duvet cover does feature little clips that make sure that the insert stays put within the cover. So again, that's gonna keep it you know, a little less cumbersome, make sure everything's sort of evenly distributed. But again, that's not always the case. So in general, the whole process of getting the insert inside the duvet cover can be a little bit tough. And if I were you, I would definitely look for those, those sort of clasps that keep everything locked in place. Well, there you have it. Those are the differences between a comforter and a duvet. But if you wanna take a look at everything broken down into greater detail, be sure to check out my full written review, which is linked below. And thanks again, Casper, for sponsoring this video and letting us enjoy this very comfy duvet. Which reminds me, if you're interested in, in checking out Casper products, we've reviewed a lot of them. So just Google Sleepopolis Casper and it'll all pop right up. Now, if during this video any questions came up or if you want a personal recommendation, please feel free to give me a shout in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, so we're always going to be uploading content with one main thing in mind, to get you some better sleep. Well, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.